And these two nations are the most successful in the history of the Olympic fencing tournaments. So here we go. Gold medal match here at the Touring Grand Prix. as she did in her semi-final. <laughs> she was just taking it a little easy, but Cher, or easy, I'd say, I mean that in the, in the sense that she's taking her time to find a way through as she did in her semi-final. Work for her then. Chapressa. <laughs> she missed her attack that time, but so fast with the hand, she lands the remise to go too clear. So pushing that one through, TB is off the mark. Little ceased beat. Hit to shoulder. Nice power of pass there that time. Press has got to be careful about starting her attack from too far away from her opponent. So went looking for the blade as well as she stepped forwards. And so it gives a bit of a giveaway for Tibu as well. She may well look to attack into that preparation as well as step away from it and find para riposte. Building a picture of how to continue in the fight. So another continuation for the French fencer. Misses the first and just quicker with the reactions landing the second bite of the cherry. So from 2-0 down, 3-2 up, just like that. So Chapressa's attack was actually parried by Tibus, but Tibus didn't land the riposte. And a second continuation for Chapressa. Attack right. Attack, 
So two meetings of the blade. The first one was from Chapressa, but it was picked up by Tibus. She took a second knock of the blade. It's called a parry. There's the first beat, but that's the second. And Tibus with the right of way draws level. They've had the best part of uh, two and a half minutes of this fight, and no one's wrestled the... Uh, tactical advantage away just yet another forced through attack second one of those from uh, Tibu same beat as well beats on the outside of the blade and then pushes through slightly different line finishing for uh, the French fencer first one went onto the shoulder second one goes to body so mixing things up so you, you, you you're opponent doesn't get a pattern of what you're doing. Little scrappy, but they all count. So it was a beat attack, beat one two it's called from Chapressa. Doesn't land the first, doesn't land the second, but somehow managed to get a third bite of the cherry in. Got a single light. A bit of variety there from Tibu, stepping in, changing the line of the parry. Didn't quite work out for her. So the first attack is parried, riposte is no for me. So she misses Chapressa, and that's what gives Tibus sort of an extra go. So they're settling down to this one now, uh, just inside uh, 10 seconds. They'll go to the break, and whilst Tibus does lead by a single point, this one is not done, and no one has really taken full advantage yet of their opponent. Well, interesting down at uh, TBC's end in the coaching box is uh, Giulio Tomasini, the uh, Italian coaching uh, the French fencer. Down at the other end, uh, Stefano Cerioni. And it's quite interesting that he's in the box for this one. Yes, he is the head foil coach, but... Uh, Giovanna Trellini has been in the box for Cipressa all day. And for the final, out come the big guns from the men's side of things and certainly from the administration point of view because um, if you don't know, Giovanna Trellini is uh, a little bit of a superstar herself. was the third one <laughs> Chipressa got three goes in it so we're here in Turin second period of the women's foil final between Isora Tibus of France and Erica Chipressa from Italy That's an interesting one. I'm not surprised Andre vikoski has gone to look at the video. Chapressa starts it. She gets the parry, but doesn't land the riposte. Well, you've got to count how many goes they both have. So referee coming back out. Final action given as a para repost for the left. Mm. 
Two beats of the blade. Fine latch and giving to the right off target. They're both operating off the blade right now. going to be a challenge potentially from Chipressa. She does call for a video. Well, I'm guessing there that uh, Chipressa had run out of video appeals because uh, Fikowski didn't go to look at the video, stuck with his decision. Both the Italian fencer and coach not happy with it. And it is what it is. So the piece now has uh, become unearthed. Usually it's earth, so when you hit it, no light comes up. This should be a pretty simple fix, a pretty quick fix. I'm going to check the weapons okay. But uh, I think it will be just the connector from the scoring apparatus at the front of the piece just fallen off. It's just a clip that goes onto the uh, metal piece. Looks like there's a backup on the other side. Still not working, so maybe that wire's broken. The reason that they don't want an off-target light coming up on the piste is that uh, often in close quarters you will hit the piste. You don't want that to stop the fight. You don't want to prevent your. Um, you don't want to prevent either fencer from being able to score a valid hit. Critical, of course, in Epe, where the whole body is the target, including the foot. Attack is parried from the left hand side. T Boost just landing her riposte off target. And a yellow card coming out for Chipressa. And now you start to see that not necessarily that T Boost is. Start to win the tactical battle and making all the correct decisions. There's a little frustration creeping into Erica Chipressa. Stop it. So didn't have the right way. Chipressa had the right of way, see here. And then the arm comes out from Tibu's closest to us, and then she just blocks out the end of the attack from uh, Chipressa. Made that look uh, a lot easier than it actually is. But Chipressa just perhaps losing her way and her concentration.
This time finds the blade. Italian now just getting back into it and has, clearly has a plan here. She's clearly gone after this beat attack, leaving it late to try and draw the counter. Now, Tibu's calls for uh, an appeal. Referee was quite clear then. He, felt, he said that, I know both of you went for the blade, but I'm saying I'm going to give the attack the priority. Tibu's thinks it's her power of post. Given as attack for the right still, so Tibus loses a video appeal. So it gives it calls the same decision there, but the lights were different. So still calls this as attack for Chipressa on the right hand side. But she missed. So counter-attack given to Tibus. So winning the battle of the beat, the Italian, but uh, need to win the battle on the score equipment. Still time to get back into this, but one or two more hits for Tibus unanswered. And this one is going to be too big a mountain to climb. So, when there's patience from the Italian, she shows what she can do. Builds that attack over half the length of the piece. So now Tibus changes back to going on the attack. And uh, they uh, give up the last few seconds of the second period. And now, just at the constant level of concentration from uh, the French fencer, Isor Tibus, the reigning world champion, has put her into the lead, able to maintain a concentration in the fight and perhaps a couple of rushed approaches from uh, Cipressa. The breaks come at the right time to speak to Stefano Cerioni. So time for the third and final period of the women's foil final here at the Turin Grand Prix of 2023. Isora Tibus of France has a five point lead against Grand Prix podium debutant Erika Cipressa from Italy. So gone back to pushing through those strong attacks. Seen a couple of those already from Tibus. Uh, 
So power repost again. Chapressa just asking how many meetings of the blade there were, and uh, Vikowski confirming that he saw two. That was enough to satisfy Chapressa that her attack had failed. The final beat, there's, uh, there's three I think in there, the final beat was from uh, Tibus, and Chapressa does ask for that to be looked at. So sticks with his decision, Andre Vikowski. Oh, that's nice. That's the best hit so far for me. Attack falls short, perhaps deliberately, but the speed of wit and hand to get that remise in, to get that effectively what looks like a stop hit in for t has put her just one away. She's really had to grind this one out. I say it's the prettiest fight I've seen. The Grand Prix win is a Grand Prix win. Not done yet, though, Erika Chapressa. Forced through a remise of her own that time uh, going forwards. Missed the first one, lands the second. And another. All of a sudden, Erica Chapress has come alive. A little bit of broken time action there. Harks back to the days when I was fencing. Taking the blade and bringing your arm right back so your opponent has got a chance of parrying anything. Another attempted beat attack there. But uh, Tibus has worked out the distance again, closed it up, hit the counter. And impressive that uh, the French fencer is still continuing to work hard. Just doesn't want to rush this and finishes off with a failed attack, but a very quick remise. And Isra Tibus from France takes the Turin Grand Prix foil title of 2023. Tibus had to work very, very hard indeed to claim the gold medal here in Turin. It's a back to back wins of the Turin Grand Prix for Isora Tibu. She's defended the title she won back in 2020. And a great day also for Erika Cipressa, who claims her first ever Grand Prix medal. Confirmation then that Isora Tibu of France has taken gold here in Turin.